prefatory to easter interpreted this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by larry wilson easter interpreted by robert browning chosen and arranged by rose porter prefatory by rose porter despite robert browning's sympathy with the all-embracing research exhaustive analysis and unsparing criticism which distinguishes the age when he speaks of god and immortality his words are clear and pronounced as the notes of a well-tuned bell while his anticipations of a blessed hereafter ring out in cadence most musical and most sweet the following citations which are culled from a number of poems accentuate this they emphasize also the harmony of sentiment and unity of thought which so environed browning's hopes of life after death and because of this undertone harmony they read as one mighty on-flowing poem rather than as extracts from various verses but enough browning is his own interpreter and our part is to listen with reverence while he sings of heaven shall be from earth's has been in the prefatory rest remaineth by robert browning read for librivox dot org by larry wilson easter day breaks christ rises mercy every way is infinite earth breaks up time drops away in flows heaven with its new day of endless life what is left for us save in growth of souls to rise up from the gift looking to the giver and from the cistern to the river and from the finite to infinity and from man's dust to god's divinity end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Soul's Warfare by Robert Browning Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Remember what a martyr said, I was born sickly, poor, and mean, a slave. I was some time in being burned, But at the close a hand came through the fire above my head, and drew my soul to christ whom now i see so the all-great was the all-loving too end of poem this recording is in the public domain spiritual insight by robert browning Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. There's heaven above, and night by night I look right through its gorgeous roof. No suns and moons, though e'er so bright, avail to stop me. For I intend to get to God, for tis to God I speed so fast. For in God's breast, my own abode, I lay my spirit down at last then comes a voice saying o heart i made love i gave thee and thou must love me who hath died for thee end of poem this recording is in the public domain the soul's growth by Robert Browning. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. When the fight begins within himself, a man's worth something. Prolong that battle through his life. Never leave growing till the life to come. Next life relieves the soul of body, yields pure spiritual enjoyment well my friend why lose this life or the meantime since its use may be to make the next life more intense 
I say that man was made to grow, not stop. Man should mount on each new height in view, stung by straightness of our life, made straight on purpose to make prized the life at large, freed by the throbbing impulse we call death. We burst there as the worm into the fly, who, while a worm still wants his wings. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Nothing Lost by Robert Browning. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. To whom turn I but to thee? the ineffable name builder and maker thou of houses not made with hands what have fear of change from thee who art ever the same doubt that thy power can fill the heart that thy power expands there shall never be one lost good what was shall live as before the evil is null, is not, is silence implying sound. What was good shall be good, with, for evil, so much good more. On the earth the broken arcs, in the heaven a perfect round. All we have willed, or hoped, or dreamed of good shall exist. Not its semblance, but itself, no beauty nor good nor power whose voice has gone forth but each survives for the melodist when eternity affirms the conception of an hour the high that proved too high the heroic for earth too hard the passion that left the ground to lose itself in the sky our music sent up to god by the lover and the bard enough that he heard it once we shall hear it by and by end of poem this recording is in the public domain in god's hand by robert browning read for librivox.org by bruce Kachuk i note the potter's wheel that metaphor perfect the cup is planned let age approve of youth and death complete the same deep within my heart of hearts ever the confidence amends for all that heaven in that new world where light and darkness fuse repairs what wrong earth's journey did end of poem this recording is in the public domain after earth heaven by robert browning read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk o thou soul of my soul I shall clasp thee again, and with God be the rest. He was made aware how dear is death, how lovable the dead are, how the heart yearns in us to hide where they repose. Heaven's beyond earth, and I suppose heaven is, through eternity, the equalizing ever and anon in momentary rapture great and small omniscience with intelligency god with man there's the heaven for me and i say therefore to live out one's life in the world here with chance whether by pain or pleasure be the process long or short the time august or mean the circumstances to human eye 
of learning how set foot decidedly on some one path to heaven this makes it worth our while to tenderly handle a state of things which mend we might mar we may but which meanwhile helps so far and yet a mortal glance might pierce methinks deeper into the heart of things and learn no fruit man's life can bear will fade death reads the title clear what each soul for itself conquered from out things here and god will estimate success one day oh how all the more will love become intense hereafter when to love means yearning to dispense each soul its own amount of gain through its own mode of practicing with life why doubt a time succeeds when each one may impart and each receive remember the individual soul works through the show of sense up to an outer soul as individual too and through the fleeting lives to die into the fixed and reach at length god man or both together mixed is it for nothing we grow old and weak we whom god loves when pain ends gain ends too for love with all it yields of joy and woe and hope and fear is just our chance o the prize of learning love how love might be hath been indeed and is and that we hold thenceforth to the uttermost such prize despite the envy of the world and having gained truth keep truth that is all but we see the double way wherein we are led how the soul learns diversely from the flesh with flesh that hath so little time to stay then as new lessons shall be learned in these till earth's work stops and useless time runs out the love that tops the christ in god End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Soul Flight by Robert Browning. Read for LibriVox.org by Beth Thomas. Dying, we live, soul that can soar. Body may slumber, body shall cumber soul flight no more. Henceforth, no certainty more plain than that after body dies soul lives again god is and the soul is and as certain after death shall be the time for using fact life to come will be an improvement on the life that's now o'er oh, this life the next presents advantages much and manifold i affirm and reaffirm it therefore as that man now lives that after dying man will live again what though as on earth he darkling grovels man descry the sphere next life's call it heaven of freedom close above and crystal clear henceforth man's existence bows to the monition wait take the joys and bear the sorrows neither with extreme concern living here means nescience simply tis next life that helps to learn shut those eyes next life will open stop those ears next life will teach hearing's office close those lips next life will give the power of speech soon shall things be unperplexed and the right and wrong now tangled lie unravelled in the next certainly as god exists as he made man's soul as soul is quenchless by the deathly mists yet is all the same forbidden premature escape from time to eternity's provided purer air and brighter clime 
just so certainly depends it on the use to which man turns earth, the good or evil done there, whether after death he earns life eternal, heaven, the phrase be, or eternal death, say hell. As his deeds, so proves his portion, doing ill or doing well. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Future by Robert Browning Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk The future, that's our destination. Mists turn rainbows there. Death touches the eyes and shows God granted most, denying all. Tis willed so that man's life be lived first to last, up and down, through and through, not in portions, forsooth, to pick and to choose from. Our shuttles fly fast, weave living, not life, soul, and whole. As age, youth, so death completes living, shows life in its truth, earth its race ground, heaven its goal after earth comes peace born out of lifelong battle end of poem this recording is in the public domain from height to height by robert browning read for LibriVox.org by eva davis what were life did soul stand still therein, forego her strife through the ambiguous present to the goal of some all reconciling future? Soul, nothing has been which shall not bettered be hereafter. Leave the root by law's decree whence springs the ultimate and perfect tree. Busy thee with unearthing root? Nay, climb, quit trunk, branch, leaf, and flower, reach, rest, sublime, where fruitage ripens in the blaze of day. Be assured, come what come will, what once lives never dies, what here attains to a beginning has no end, still gains, and never loses aught, when, where, how lies in law's lap end of poem this recording is in the public domain god loves by robert browning read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk god loves us and all that errs is a strange dream which death will dissipate be sure that god ne'er dooms to waste the strength he deigns impart be sure they sleep not whom god needs i go to prove my soul i see my way as birds their trackless way i shall arrive what time, what circuit first, I ask not, but in some time, his good time, I shall arrive. He guides me and the bird. True, I am worn, but who clothes summer? Who is life itself? God, that created all things, can renew and then though after life to please me now must have no likeness to the past what hinders reward from springing out of toil as changed as bursts the flower from earth and root and stalk meanwhile things learned on earth we shall practice in heaven only the scales to be changed that's all 
and when a soul has seen by the means of evil that good is best and through earth and its noise what is heaven's serene when our faith in the same has stood the test why the child grown man you burn the rod the uses of labor are surely done there remaineth a rest for the people of god i believe it tis thou god that giveth tis i who receive in the first is the last in thy will is my power to believe salvation joins issue with death as thy love is discovered almighty almighty be proved thy power that exists with and for it of being beloved he who did most shall bear most the strongest shall stand the most weak tis the weakness in strength i cry for my flesh that i seek in the godhead i seek and i find it it shall be a face like my face that receives thee a man like to me thou shalt love and be loved by for ever a hand like this hand shall throw open the gates of new life to thee see the christ stands End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. All Things New by Robert Browning. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Think when our one soul understands the great word which shall make all things new, when earth breaks up and therein expands how will the change strike me and you in the house not made with hands surely the gain of earth must be heaven's gain too end of poem this recording is in the public domain a reverent pause by Robert Browning, read for LibriVox.org, by Larry Wilson. O oh, never star was lost here, but it rose afar. We all aspire to heaven, and there is heaven above us. Go then. Dare we go? No, surely. How dare we go without a reverent pause, a growing less unfit for heaven? Now raise thee, clay. God, thou art love i build my faith in that if i stoop into a dark tremendous sea of cloud it is but for a time i press god's lamp close to my heart its splendor soon or late will pierce the gloom i shall emerge one day you understand me i have said enough easter day breaks christ arises mercy every way is infinite in the poem this recording is in the public domain end of easter interpreted by robert browning chosen and arranged by rose porter